treasures from the Bible. Last time we said that the Bible is like a treasure chest. Just like a treasure chest has many valuable items in, the Bible has many valuable stories and lessons in. Today's treasure we find in Matthew and in Luke. So if your mommy and daddy opens the Bible, they can read the beginning of Matthew and the beginning of Luke they can read you the story of Jesus' birth. Today we're going to read it out of My Bible Friends. Mary and Joseph lived in a little town called Nazareth. The king of that area wanted to count all the people in the country. So we commanded everybody to come to the city of Bethlehem. Mary was just about to have a baby and she wasn't sure if she would be able to go all that way. It was a far way to walk. But eventually they got onto their little donkey and they went all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. We're not sure how long it took them but it must have been a couple of days. When they got to Bethlehem, Mary said to Joseph, I'm really so tired now. I hope we can find a place to sleep quickly. Joseph knocked on the door of the innkeeper. Please, do you have a place for Mary and I to sleep? She's about to have a baby. I'm sorry, said the innkeeper. There are so many people in Bethlehem. We don't have any space in our inn. Eventually, one innkeeper said, you can sleep in the stable. That's the only place I have available. Mo Joseph looked at Mary and he said, I'm so sorry. That's the only place we can find. That's okay, said Mary. I just need to lie down and rest. So Joseph took Mary to the stable and with his little light he made light in the stable. I think that the sheep said, Ma, ma, what are you coming to do in the stable? And maybe the cow said, moo, moo. This is a place for animals, not for people. But that was a very, very special stable. Because that night, baby Jesus was born. Baby Jesus is God's very own son. And God let him come to this world to be an example for us on how to live how to be gentle and kind and obedient. Outside in the fields, the shepherds were looking after their sheep. And they were talking about the promise that is in the Bible about a Saviour that was to be born. We wonder when this Saviour will be born, said the one shepherd to the other. Yes, I wonder as well, said the other one because we have read about it for so many years and nothing is happening and our nation is getting very hard. All of a sudden they saw a very bright light coming down from the sky. They got a fright and they wondered what it was. All of a sudden they saw many angels and one angel came very close by to them. They held their hands in front of their faces and they were scared. They wondered if maybe they've done something wrong. Don't worry, said the angel, because I bring you very good news. You were talking about the Saviour that must be born. Well, if you go into Bethlehem, you will find him in a stable because he was born tonight. The shepherds were so happy, they just left their sheep out in the field and ran to the stable. 
They knocked on the door and Joseph opened. They knelt down in front of the little baby because he is the king of the universe. He also created the whole world and all the other unit stars and moons and everything around us. In a faraway country, there were wise men. They also studied the scriptures. In their time, the Bible was in a scroll and they studied the scrolls and they knew that sometime a king was to be born. They saw a star in the sky and they said, that must be the star of the new baby king. Let's go and find him and take him gifts. So they took gold, frankincense and myrrh and they got onto their camels. They traveled for a long, long time. Eventually, they got to Jerusalem where the king is. So if you're looking for a baby king, you will go to the king's palace, won't you? When they got to the palace, they said, O oh, king, we have come to bring gifts for the baby, the new king. Oh no, said the king, here's no baby here. Yeah, you must be mistaken. But if you find him, please come and tell me, so I can take him some gifts as well. So the wise men went out, and then they saw the star again. And the star took them to Bethlehem. And the star stopped right above the stable where Jesus was. They knocked on the door, and Daddy Joseph opened the door. We have come to bring gifts to the baby, they said. You are at the right place, said Joseph. Please come inside. They knelt down in front of baby Jesus. They knew that he was to be the king of the universe and that he was to save the people. But that night, the angel came to Joseph and said, Joseph, the king doesn't have a kind heart. He wants to hurt all the little babies. So I want you to go to Egypt. Joseph listened. He woke up, woke Mary and the baby, and early in the morning before the sun was up, they were on their way to Egypt where the little baby would be safe. After about five years, the angel came back to Joseph and said, Joseph, the mean king has died and you can now take the baby and his mother back to Bethlehem. They actually went back to Nazareth where they originally came from and that is where baby Jesus grew up. He was a very kind boy. He always did kind deeds for other people. He loved to listen to the stories from the Bible that his mommy told him. He was always very helpful to his mom and his dad and did whatever pleased them. He remembered that he was the Son of God and always spoke to God when he was outside in nature with the birds and with the animals, making himself available to do what he was come to do. We hope that you enjoyed our story and that you will join us again next time for another story from the Bible. Mm -hmm.